pin point composting. All right, folks, this is another video on pinpoint composting. This was the stuff I took my pile apart yesterday, yesterday to see what it looked like. Um, it was eight weeks, around eight weeks old, a very long lasting high heat. So I sifted about a, about a 55 gallon drum. I took some, there was another six gallon bucket that I took and I put it in some of my um, my uh, containers that needed some, some duff in it. And, and the rest of it I put back into this little pile. And I call it pinpoint composting because this is, this is two by two, three feet high, this particular one. And this one is about four feet. And this one's about three and a half, three and a half. And then those dog crate down at the end, which has nothing in it at this stage of the game. But, so I put the stuff back and look at, I'm back up to high heat. I added no moisture in it. It looked dried out when I saw it yesterday, but I added no moisture to this one. It did rain last night, not much. And I don't think this container got too much rain in it. But look at, I'm right back up to high heat again. So this is exciting for me. Granted, when I took this apart, it, the stuff did look dead, meaning there's very little biodiversity that was really found in it. This chicken bones just crumbled. But all my compost that was in here, the gross stuff that I put in here was literally gone within um, eight weeks, right? Seven to eight weeks. So I'm using sawdust as my carbon material for the most part. I do say I have some duff in here. This particular one was the second one I was working on. And I just added a liquid slurry in here and I fluffed it up with an iron rod. I do keep it covered. And there's some aeration holes in here going to the bottom. This one too. This one is one that the heat was doing really good. So I didn't really mess with that. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, let's see here. This one, the heat is up there, so I didn't necessarily touch it. I usually wait till the heat gets out of the red or drops just into the, the orange here, and then I'll fluff it up and get it another week, week and a half out of it. So this one's already is up there. It's I like it up into the 160, which, which really gets me excited. And this one here, this pile is the one I'm filling up now. Look at how much it dropped. I, I bring the pile up to, up to here, and then it drops down, of course, because it's composting. And then you get over to here, and this is the one I'm working on now. I'll have another layer. I'll have another layer of um, house compost, and then I'll put a, a cover on it, and then I'll, I'll activate it even more with some liquid slurry. So the slurry I'm finding is just as important as the um, as the uh, solids. So save your liquids, folks. Your urine, your pasta water, your coffee water, and all the stuff you're cleaning out a jar. Uh, peanut butter jar, mayonnaise jar, you name it. So this is already activated. So I haven't even started this one yet. I like to get it to the top and then I add it, activate it with liquid slurry. But as you can see, this is already uh, some doing some really good uh, thermophilic action. Okay, this one here is probably, to, um, I forget, this is, I, for, I, I should start dating when I start this next pile. This is a dog crate I have here. And right now I just got cardboard on it. There's nothing in it at this stage of the game. But this will be the next one I'll work on. By the time I get down to this one is the hope. When I get to this one, this first one and second one will be ready to add to the next phase, which will be into my grow towers that look very similar to these here. So that's just a quick update on pinpoint composting. You know, I, we talked about my, my CBCB carbon-based composting, which was a bunch of... Um, carbon with liquid as my nitrogen that I was so excited about the heat I was getting there. I'm finding out now that these piles are so much easier to manage when they're a little, little like this and um, I can fit more in here. Four of these equals one big bin of mine that kind of takes up more room. This way I can add it to the side of my yard and I could keep going on if I didn't have so much other stuff there. So that's all I have for now. But this one back up. So I, this one, I guess when I, I and I, again, I, I just took it apart because I was just trying to see what it looked like. And this is what all that gross stuff looks like. So in eight weeks, you can still get some more thermophilic action out of it. Two months. I think we can go three months. I think we can get through the winter. And that is exciting on many levels. I don't know if we'll be able to get that heat out of there. And I don't know if a bunch of these around the side of a, a greenhouse would um, heat the greenhouse enough to get us through the winter. Don't know that 
I certainly love the way this heat is working. You, feel, you can feel it here within the pile. You know, right up to the top, you get some heat. Let's see over here on the side here. So when you do, here, here's another thought, last thought here. When you do move these in the corners, especially if you had one of those, this corner stuff goes right into the middle too, right? So I've already taken a lot of this, but since I fluffed it up more. Anyway, pinpoint composting, I'm gonna call this. If anybody's already doing this, let me know. I'm finding everything I think is original <laughs> isn't necessarily, necessarily original. And a lot of people aren't ex as excited about the heat as I am because um, it kills the biodiversity, but in my personal opinion, that biodiversity biodiversity will come back when the reds are added and you add this to your worm castings after the thermophilic stage is completely over, like here. Like, again, this is part of that same pile we were just looking at. And um, since I sifted it all out, all that dry stuff, this is definitely not heating up. And this is about the same, the same size, right, as over here. This stuff here came out of this pile here. I just was taking a look at it. So you can see that the thermophilic action is pretty much done for the most part. It says still active there, but it's still going down. So just another added. I'm gonna, I have a playlist now that I'll put the link below on pinpoint composting to get everybody excited. It doesn't have to be as hard as it seems and hopefully my work done will inspire you and you won't have to go through all these darn steps that I did to get where I am today. So hope everybody's doing well. Uh, what am I want to do? I wanted to at least bring you to a lower. <laughs> Where's my other? I wanted at least end with high heats. A thermometer that's in the red. And there it goes. We will most certainly heal this planet one urban farmer at a time.